You know, over on my TikTok channel, I have a lot of beginning actors who are very young. And one of the most common questions I get is where do you find auditions in your area? Or where do you find training and workshops and classes? A lot of these people live in small rural towns or third world countries or areas where the arts are not supported. So I'm gonna help address that in this video. Hey everybody, welcome to Augmented Actor. My name is Doug Fall. Okay, so you live in a small town. You, you wanna know where, where, where to find auditions in your area or workshops and classes. Just something to get you started, get the ball rolling. Maybe you've moved to a new town and you don't, you're don't you not familiar with everything. So there is this wonderful tool called Google. Um, <laughs> I don't mean to be facetious, but that's where you should start. Take Google out of your browser and go in there and type in the box your town and acting auditions or audition call board call board use that word call board or say film auditions in such and such town or a theater auditions in such and such town and it will bring up a list of theaters film productions uh, and call boards in your area now, even in some of the smallest towns, like I have some extended family in uh, Orangeburg, South Carolina. So I recently did a search to see what popped up when I searched theaters in Orangeburg, South Carolina. And there were only like a couple that popped up. One was a church theater and one was a community theater. There were some acting workshops and classes near nearby, but mostly it was pretty dry. However, that's what you got to work with. So now you know what you have to work with. I would suggest starting with the theaters. Even if you want to be a film actor, uh, theaters are a great resource for learning how to act and um, getting connected with other actors in your area and also for taking workshops. So look on the theaters websites, visit their about page and find out how they audition their shows. They might have just an email or a phone number, call them and find out because many theaters um, offer youth training programs or summer workshops or, and classes like that. And some will bring in casting directors to do private workshops and whatnot. And then you can see the same kind of things. If there's a local film board, film call board, you will notice uh, what films and short films, student films, things like that are casting in your area. Second, you wanna look at universities, high schools, and other performing arts organizations uh, that are educational based in your area because they have film and theater departments and sometimes they will post call boards, sometimes on a bulletin board in their theater department or film department. And many times those auditions are open to the general public as well. So check those out. Now, if you're in a really, really rural area or just somewhere else where there's just no arts and nothing's coming up in your Google search, you may have to find the closest larger city uh, near you because the bigger a city is, the more acting opportunities there are. So for instance, if you live in Orangeburg, South Carolina, probably the nearest city is Augusta, Georgia. So go over there and do a search there and you will probably find a lot more opportunities. Now you have to be able to get there to audition and, and, and work and whatnot. That's that's something you'll have to consider. If you're young and you're still in living at home and whatnot, you want to gear up to uh, move to a bigger market when you have the opportunity as an adult. The next thing is to utilize online uh, casting sites. Here in the States, we have Actors Access, we have Backstage, we have Casting Frontier, we have Casting Networks, and a bunch of other ones. Those are the big four. Sign up for those. They usually have a free profile. You can load up a headshot and a resume and click your skill levels, and then you can submit yourself to various auditions. Now, many of them are outside of your area. You can, uh, you might have to travel to get those, and uh, there's a lot of competition on those, and there's also a lot of sketchy projects as well. So just use caution and use your common sense when you're when you're submitting for those and you might have to pay a small fee to submit or you might have to join a tier if you want to include like a demo reel or something like that but start with the free plan and see see what you can find from that now the final way to find out auditions in your area is to just do projects so for instance you have one community theater in your area sign up audition get in a show there or do a student film with a, a small group of people. And when you're on those 
projects, meet everybody you can and ask them how they find their auditions. Networking, this is how it works. You know, you become friends with people and one project will lead to another project and you will discover projects that aren't even listed online that are still in development or working and then you can kind of get yourself involved in those as well. Finally, there are workshops that you can take online. Now, uh, you can always watch Augmented Actor for acting advice of all kinds, but if you want to, when you're looking for a workshop or a class, you want to find one where you actually can perform a monologue or a scene with other actors and get feedback from a teacher because that is that's what's going to train you to be an actor is getting that criticism and getting used to being performing in front of others so either in person is best but if you have to do it online due to COVID or whatnot uh, or because you're new to do a remote class because you don't live in that city um, then go ahead and do that because uh, you'll you'll find some good feedback we have uh, up here in Seattle we have a, a group that meets online right now they usually meet in person but they're called the east side actors lab and anybody from anywhere in the world is free to join that uh, i'll put a link down in the description and you know they have like monologue classes and scene study classes and whatnot you can just pop in do a piece get feedback and, and leave now, one note, thing to note, when you're looking up acting audition workshops, you want to be very, very careful not to uh, get taken by a scam. There are a lot of scam workshops out there that are asking for large amounts of money or they're asking you to pay to audition, to be included in the class or something like that. If you have any doubts at all, post that audition on uh, a, a Facebook group or something like that and ask for feedback. Let Ask people if they've taken the workshop, if they recommend it, whatnot, and you'll know whether something's a scam before you sign up for it. And that brings up another point. Utilize Facebook groups and other uh, Reddit and other message boards, Discord, whatnot, to find acting related groups, as, even in your area or around the world, and ask other actors how they find their auditions. And you'll start to pick up on how they go about getting them. Now, some of us are just in an area or circumstances where it just sucks. There's nothing available and there, there's just nothing. And you don't have a car and you're too young, you're still living at home, whatever. You don't have the support of your parents and you're just in this situation where you can't find anything. Well, the best thing you can do in that situation is to make your own magic. So shoot your own films at, or, or make your own plays and put them on for your friends. Get your experience from the ground up teaching yourself and learning everything you can from absorbing from online videos and whatnot so that when you're an adult you have at least some groundwork laid so when you move to a new city you're not just starting from scratch and uh, it's the best I can offer for those kind of situations but if you're stuck in one of those situations and you need some help with resources feel free to comment down below and I will try to help you out good luck in your journey and I will see you again here soon bye